It's so easy to place people in boxes. Drawing lines, creating sides. There's us. And there's them. Those we feel comfortable around. And those we don't. There are those of us with many chapters. And those just starting their own stories. There's the financially comfortable and those doing what they can. There are those we share something with and those we don't seem to share anything with. Welcome everyone and thank you for coming today. Today we'll be conducting an experiment in which I'll ask you a series of questions. Now, these are going to be very personal questions. And to get a good result, We'll need you to be completely honest when you respond. So the first question is, who here is the class clown? Who is never on time? There's us, we who have tattoos. We who feel lonely. We who have been bullied. We who have been unkind to others. We who have failed to achieve a goal. We who love to dance. We who are madly in love. We who have overcome great adversity. And then there's the lucky ones, whose team won a championship. Cancer. And then there's all of us who wish to see a kinder, more respectful, more civil Bradner. So maybe there is more that brings us together than we think. A.D. Williams once said, imagine what seven billion humans could accomplish if we loved and respected one another. Just imagine. Imagine if there was no greed. Imagine if there was no comparison. If everyone was running their own race but cheering for all others at the same time. Maybe we will never see that in our lifetime, but what we all can do is start with ourselves. Start with yourself. Choose to lift others up. Choose to set the example. The example of kindness and integrity. The example of compassion and understanding. There's a quote that says, no matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells all. Integrity is everything. It really is. Who you are is far more important than what you have, and it will always be. Who you are is measured by how you make others feel. Be kind to each other. In a world where you can be anything, be, be kind. kind. Choose to be the change you wish to see in the world. Decide you will not wait for someone else. 
You will set the example. Be kind. Because you never know how much that person is suffering inside. You never know the difference your words can make, the difference your presence can make, the difference you can make to one human life. Be the reason someone believes in the goodness of humanity. Be the reason someone else decides to make a difference in others. Be the influence you want to see more of. Always do what is right, not what is easy in the moment. Kindness spreads like a virus. When you do good to another, that person does better to those they come in contact with. You really can make a big difference in the world, today and every other day. Anne Frank said, in the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. No one has ever made themselves great by showing how small another is. Be kind and always build others up to the best of your ability. Treat everyone with the same level of kindness that you would like for yourself. Not because everyone is nice, but because you are. Because karma makes no mistakes. Because it is right. Because you have integrity. Because you want this world to be better when you leave than when you arrived. Who are you kind to today? Who will you be kind to tomorrow?